This question says that experiment two was carried out at 40 degrees. The molar volume of hydrogen, so the molar volume, is 25.7. Now let me talk about that. Normally this question would have said STP, which we know is then at zero degrees Celsius, okay? And um, yeah, and like one atmosphere. So that's okay. And at that at that um, temperature, we usually say that the volume of one mole of gas, if it's a, yeah, if it's a gas, is 22.4 decimeters, okay? But now that the temperature is a little bit warmer, the gas expands a little bit. And so this is why we are not using 22.4 because that's only for STP, but instead they've asked us to please use 25.7. So you know in that formula where you go N equals to V over VM, VM is molar volume of gas, which in this question is gonna be 25.7 and not 22.4, which is when we only have it at STP. Okay, hope that makes sense. So calculate the volume, and remember that that 22.4 is only for gas, and remember this hydrogen is a gas. Some learners, when they use this formula, which is for liquids, they, 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 they try use 22.4 here, but that's not correct, that's for liquids. When we're talking about gases, we typically use this formula, and then you use 22.4 there, if it's at STP. So it says here, experiment two was carried out at 40 degrees, the molar volume of that is that. Calculate the, vo they're not saying that the volume of hydrogen is that, they're saying it's molar volume, so that means it's that per mole, okay? So, um, so it's just, just know that this 25.7 is the VM, okay? It's not the V. So it says calculate the volume of hydrogen gas, which is this, produced once the reaction reaches completion. Okay, very easy question. We know how much zinc we used, okay? So we can work out the moles of zinc over there. Then we can simply use the mole ratio from zinc to hydrogen to get the moles of hydrogen, which would be this number over here. So then we would have this number and we would have this number, and then we can easily get that number. Okay, so, from our periodic table, we know that zinc has a mass of 65. So we can say N equals to M over capital M. So we can say N equals to 3.27 over 65. And that gives us, okay, we can round this to 0 0.05 moles. Okay, now we can look at the ratio in our balanced equation. Make sure it is balanced, but it is because there's a two over there, so we know that they've done some balancing, but always make sure, okay? So what we can see is the ratio between zinc and the thing that we are looking for, which is hydrogen, is in a one-to-one -one ratio. So that means if we have 0 0.05 zinc, then your hydrogen is gonna be 0 0.05, okay? Now we can use our formula where we know the moles we don't know the volume, but we know the molar volume that they've asked us to use is 25.7. So remember that, hey, this is molar volume. It's not volume, it's molar volume. So it's the VM, okay? And then if you just use, if you just take this and you multiply it up to the top, you're gonna end up with the volume as, if you round that up, and you are gonna get that as 1.285, and that would be in decimeters.